Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. I'm gonna show you a quick little cool uh, tool that you can use in Photoshop to actually render some flames for you. Uh, this is a really cool tool where if you have a fireplace like this, maybe you're a real estate photographer, interiors photographer, something like that, and you want to add a fireplace to uh, a fire to the fireplace here, you could actually have Photoshop render flames for you. Uh, sounds really weird, but it's a really cool technique. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this here. So the first thing we're going to do is grab a new layer, a new blank layer here. And I'm going to click the P key on my keyboard to get the pen tool. And all I'm going to do is click over here once and then click over here again on the uh, left and right side. And it's going to draw a straight line across. It doesn't really matter, but you kind of do need a path there. And so now what I'm going to do is go up to filter, render, and then flame. And here you get a lot of different options. You have flame types that you can add here, uh, going different directions. Uh, you can play with the actual width of the frame, flames, um, uh, play around with all these different styles of flames. Uh, you can different angles. You can have them go straight across, up and down. It just doesn't really matter. Uh, but you're really just playing with uh, the different variations of the flame here. So I'm going to go with something similar to this. This looks pretty cool. Uh, you can actually play with the colors if you want to. You can use a custom uh, color palette for the flames. Uh, if you wanted to, you can click there and start adding different colors, uh, but we're not going to do that here. Uh, I'm just going to use exactly what Photoshop gives me, and I'm going to make the quality. I'm going to go ahead and make it um, fine right there. It's going to render it very slowly, but it'll be a nice fine, uh, fine quality to these flames that it renders. So now all I'm going to do is click OK. Okay, and as you can see, it rendered the flame here. It is a little bit big for the scene. So all I'm gonna do is uh, click Enter there, and I'm gonna click Command or Control T on your keyboard. And this will allow you to kind of transform it, shape it down, uh, scoot it in as much as you'd like to. You can see it kind of needs to fit a little bit more of the area here. I might twist it a little bit, rotate it. And I'm just playing around with it, trying to do this super fast so I don't make this video too long. But there is a kind of nice little flame. Now, if we wanted to kind of enhance it a little bit to kind of make it blend in a little bit more, uh, we can actually scale it down a little bit. It looks a little, still looks a little bit too big. But what I'm going to do is just get a brush, and I'm going to sample kind of like a, a yellowish or orangish color here. So maybe around here. I'm going to paint over top of this just like this because it's gonna you know it's gonna shine bright uh, when you have a flame actually going it's not gonna just be all warm in here it's gonna actually be warm uh, around the scene so we get a little bit of a darker color as well and I'm just sampling from the actual flame and now what I do is changing blending mode uh, let's go ahead and change it to overlay so there we go so you can see how it adds a little bit of that warmth there where it would be uh, and now I am gonna scale this down a little bit more just right there and scoot it down right there. So as you can see, as a really quick way of doing this, it actually works out pretty well. Now you can play with the blending modes on the flame as well. You can see how they kind of hide back there. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different blending modes you can play with. Uh, I actually do like lighten a lot. Uh, I don't use multiply or any of these up here because it will take away the brightness. Uh, but you can play with a little bit of them, make them really crazy and intense. Um, but I will keep it as normal. And uh, yeah, it just works a really great way to have a quick flame uh, for something like this. You can actually uh, just kind of distort it a little bit if you'd like to to make give it a little bit of movement. You can go up here to the blur gallery. So go to blur and go to motion blur and make sure it's vertical like this and just back it down to maybe around three or four. Nothing crazy. Uh, you can see it just kind of moves a little bit and that gives a little bit of movement to the flames there. So as you can see, we'll do suit a before and after here. That is the before and that is the after. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this quick little fun tutorial in Photoshop. Head on over to sleeklens.com for more videos and tutorials on our blog, uh, more products as far as Lightroom and Photoshop go. Uh, we got a lot of stuff out there, so I hope you join that and check out that as well. Uh, head on over to sleeklens.com for more information about all of that stuff. This has been Jordan from Sleeklens, and I'll see you in the next video.